Now, dear colleagues, a casuistical demonstration Night splinting is so old as the Dubiton history we heard yesterday. Fibromatosis leads to a retention of the bent fingers. I started splint therapy in 2006. The first case was a typical bent ring finger. After PNF, at the beginning, a simple modified glove, very comfortable to wear at night. Three years later, Impressive the reduction in size of the softening and the softening of the nodular finger tissue. The tissue becomes softer. This case is the ideal indication. The extension deficit is found exclusively in the MP joint. This finger can be opened completely with PNF. In the cases without remaining bending, the ready-made splint is very simple, comfortable, and not too expensive. Here a very impressive case which could not be opened completely by PNF. In these cases I decide to apply an individual splint with a silicone bed and a supporting thermoplastic bandage. And I am constantly astonished to see that the extension deficit becomes less and less. This finger of a young man had been operated no this is another case. This case, recurrence after PNF, not splinting to now. The day after the second PNF, 11 days later, and three months later. This finger of the young man had been operated twice in 2002 and 2003. He refused any operation, but he needed help. PNF could reduce but not re resolve the PIP blockage. Aesthetic night splinting with a silicone bed was more hopeful. So the picture he sent me, and this, my last case, remember to the case of Paul Willek, he showed us yesterday, I think it's similar to the case which Dupitron treated for 200 years ago. But I think I'm a little nearer to Dupitron than Paul Willig because I had no general anesthesia and no tonique <laughs> and no flaps. This 75-year-old man had refused any open surgery, however he wanted help. PNF had to be carried out first in the area of the MP joints, but only a small blockade reduction could be achieved. This was after the PNF in the level of the MP joint. After wound healing, 
Six days later, the first silicone splint was applied. It was amazing to see that the extension deficit opened further and further. Though he needed a second splint, and this is five, five months after PNF. The patient and I am very happy. So, I think that this is a historic operation. Dupuytren could do this. I'm convinced that night splinting is to be seen as a part of any surgical Dupuytren therapy, fasciectomy as well as fasciotomy, and perhaps it can be used for bending prevention. It seems that splinting interacts with biomechanical processes, silicone may have an additional softening effect. The first experiences with a non-surgical treatment using only splinting therapy have been published. I think splinting is going to be one field in the clinical research which can be a success in near future. Thank you.